Question 1. What is Make? Answer. Make is a cross-platform open source make system. Make is used to control the software compilation process using simple platform independent and compiler independent configuration files. Make generates native make files and workspaces that can be used in the compiler environment of your choice. Make is quite sophisticated. It is possible to support complex environments requiring system configuration, preprocessor generation, code generation, and template instantiation. Question 2. I want a new feature in Make. What should I do? Answer. Report a feature request in our bug tracker. Please make sure to look at the old feature requests not to include duplicates. Include detailed instructions of the feature and proposed implementation. Question 3. I set up make variable in my environment, but it didn't change anything. Why? Answer. Make build settings are stored in the make cache corresponding to a project's build tree. They are called make cache entries and have no relation to your command shell's environment variables. Use at make GUI or the wizard mode make i to edit cache entries initial values may also be specified for a build by using the d command line argument to make when it is first run to produce a new build tree question 4 i run an out of source build but make generates in source anyway why answer this means that there is a make cache dot text file in the source tree possibly as part of an existing in source build if make is given the path to a directory with a make cache dot text file it assumes the directory is a build tree therefore if one runs make slash mishrik to build out of source but there is a mishrik slash make cache dot text file then make will treat mishrik as the build tree this is a side effect of the feature that allows make to be used to regenerate a build tree. The behavior will not be changed because mixing in source and out of source builds is not safe anyway. Configured headers may be found in the wrong place. Question 5. Why does make use full paths? Or can I copy my build tree? Answer. Make uses full paths because configured header files may have full paths in them, and moving those files without reconfiguring would cause a predictable behavior. Because make supports out of source builds, if custom commands used relative paths to the source tree, they would not work when they are run in the build tree because the current directory would be incorrect. On Unix systems, paths might be built into executables so they can find shared libraries at runtime. If the build tree is moved over Old executables may use the old shared libraries and not the new ones. Question 6 Why do I have unwanted semicolons in my compiler flags? Answer Make has a list data type. A list is stored as a string of semicolon separated list elements. White space separated arguments to a set statement are interpreted as list elements. For instance, set var a, b, c, d, e will give var a value of a, b, c, d, e, and this list can be used by other make commands. However, if you pass dollar $var to a non make external tool, such as a compiler's command line, you are passing A, B, C, D, E which is not what you want. Instead you either need to pass $var so that the list will be converted to a white space separated string or you need to set var a B, C, D, E in the first place so that you're working with a string not a list. Question 7. Can I build both shared and static libraries with one add underscore library command? Answer. No. Each library you build must have a unique target name, i.e. the libname field of the add underscore library command. That way, make can track dependencies separately for each library. Libraries can have the same output underscore name. See the set underscore target underscore properties command. But this is not the default. Question 8. Does make support convenience libraries? Answer. Make does not currently support convenience libraries. A convenience library, as GNU Libtool calls it, is an archive of objects to be mixed into other libraries. Other libraries link to the convenience library, but the convenience library does not export any symbols. GNU Libtool never installs the convenience library. No programs ever link to the convenience library. This does not mean that a project using convenience libraries cannot be converted to make. Instead the source files may be listed in each target that needs them. They will be built for each target separately using all the preprocessor definitions and flags configured for that target. Question 9. Can make set the debugging slash working directory property in Visual Studio projects? Answer. Not directly. The value of this property is not stored in the project files. It is stored in extra files created by the ID when a solution is loaded. Versus.NET 2003 uses a hidden SWO file next to the SLN solution file. The format of these files is not known to make and cannot be generated. In some versions of Versus the files are binary and not human readable. However, for 
Visual Studio versions at least 2005 and newer. Ryan Pavlik maintains make modules that can create these files. Main script also requires this directory. Question 10. What is Make Cache? Answer. Make uses the cache when it's rerunning itself during a build because it make list file changed or when you make rebuild underscore cache. It also loads the cache at start of a normal configure run. Question 11. What is Make Generator? Answer. A Make Generator is responsible for writing the input files for a native build system. Exactly one of the Make Generators must be selected for a build tree to determine what native build system is to be used. Optionally one of the extra generators may be selected as a variant of some of the command line build tool generators to produce project files for an auxiliary IDE. Question 12. What is makelists.txt? Answer. Input text files that contain the project parameters and describe the flow control of the build process in make language.